formidable robot. Available. Not in stores, nor sold on the internet. They can be found on the porches of abandoned homes in Maine, Rhode Island, Birmingham, and Maryland. However, most have been taken up by conspiracy theorists who have given the info needed to complete this article. TSOPUA is a television set created by a now defunct company, Terra Sound Waves. The initials were found sloppily engraved into the back of the set, possibly by a child from the ages of 5 through 7. The set was not popular during the two years it was sold, as over 2,000 refunds have been noted. All people who have refunded the television have claimed to have the same set mailed back to them, in a large sloppily closed box. Terra Sound Waves was largely uncredited for doing a large amount of work during 1969 to 1982, mostly on low-budget movies that are presumed lost, the most famous one named, One Night More, 1975. The films, the ones that exist now, are not available on any VHS, DVD or on any streaming site, as the quality somehow grows worse. The audio is much better than most films available in that time period, and strongly sounds like HD audio that wasn't used until the 2000s. The television set has little to no channels, depending on location. The most channels that were available was 21, not counting the 74 blank channels. All blank channels were reported to play some sort of indistinguishable audio, which could only be described as high-pitched whispering. It is not clear where the signals are coming from, or why they played long after the television set and company were gone. Here are the known shows. Man of Fire. Oddly, the only show that was available on the internet, during 2009-2013. Based on reports, the show was about some sort of superhero made of fire, and the quality suggests that it was created in the early 50s. The last episode is not available, besides one VHS that has been recorded over. Based on the contents that were left on the VHS, the episode is much more violent than the others. How to please your family with G.I.O.D. Annie. As stated in the title, it is about a man teaching husbands and wives how to keep your family happy. If found, tips are not recommended to be used. The only episode is named, Cheating Ain't a Crime, and contains G.I.O. speaking out against husbands and wives who divorce each other over adultery. The final line of the episode is, as long as the other doesn't know about it, I say cheating ain't a crime. The star of the show was arrested for a bank robbery in 1981. T.S.O.P.U.A. Show no subject, mainly a public access show, consisting of audio tests during the shows. One person has gone deaf due to the tests and sued the company. This may be the reason the company went bankrupt. Man Spider. Unrelated to the comics, though it shares the same basic storyline, with changes to the main characters. The animation is primitive, and some have claimed to hear pornography play in the background. Judging by the quality, the show could have been made from 1960 to 1975. The show. Just discovered in 2008, during a test recording made in 1993, found in the basement of J. Forlando. The show is about stuffed animals who put on different shows. Clearly made entirely by a child, who is credited as, retarded kid who plays with stuffed toys. This may suggest the child has some sort of mental problem and or evidence that the people who ran the program clearly mistreated the child. Here are the reports from 1986 to 2003. Mike Juni. Clearly wasn't happy to be there. He claimed that during the 24 hours he was forced to watch it, he had to cover his ears every 5 hours when the loud audio show would come on. Before going back home, Mike told me that he saw a show about Spider-Man. We'll check on this. Marty Smith. Teen, who willingly performed the test. Final test for the day. He was more afraid than Mike. We had security cameras on him, unlike Mike. He started pretty normal, then when a yet unknown show came on, he began doubting his willingness to do this. As much as it hurt me, I didn't let him go, despite the fact he was asking us to through the walkie-talkie. He nearly lost his hearing ability due to the loud audio show. At the 12-hour mark, he started crying, at another show we don't know about. 
Finally, a show that had a soundtrack that sounded like the Spider-Man cartoon started playing, possibly the show named by Mike, and his head hurt too much to cooperate, we had to let him go at the 14 hour mark. Peter Y. We've told this person to stay off of the channel with the loud audio show, now known as the TSOPUA show. We had to kidnap, he wasn't cooperative, Mike. Retarded kid who plays with stuffed toy, he didn't much mind this one, but then he accidentally flipped to the TSOPUA show channel, and the, cur, showed his ears bleeding rapidly, rushed to the nearest hospital, however, we did not want the police to, we had to leave him on his mother's front porch, who we hope rushed him to the hospital. Sorry Pete. The tests shown here were not ran by us, they were ran by a group of idiotic teenagers, not yet known their identities. Ian M. I was sold this computer by my friend, Frederick, that had all of these videos on it with these prehistoric shows on it. I'm willing to sell you these videos, considering you've been trying too hard to obtain that TV. I at least presume these are where they come from. Who am I? A friend. I am. R.A. Do not share these. Cora Opia. Yo, what the fuck is this shit man? Some sort of weird old TV station. Law. People have attempted to find the TV set on the streets of the reported areas, Ian and R.A. both found the set on the porches of abandoned houses. Cora's short comment is merely a comment on the download link. Despite the fact the CEO is dead, we found a once lost interview from him, from 1974, advertising the set in one part. One time, I just decided that making sound wasn't good enough for my company, so we've decided to go to the next step, creating a personal television set for the whole family combined with our amazing audio system. Yes, maybe it'll be as unpopular as our movies at first, but then it might become popular with one popular person who will tell his popular friends, then they'll pass it on to theirs, then the whole state will know, then the whole world will know. We've even got a few personal shows made for it, we're still working out the audio issues, so there might be a channel where we test out our audio, but there'll be so many channels that it'll be unfindable. So look out for my company's new television set in the summer of 75. One audio leak has been passed around the internet, from Christmas of 1974, where the CEO is heard yelling and screaming at his workers, supposedly it was originally from a security tape, which also recorded audio. It isn't very interesting, until a gun cocking sound is heard very clearly, and gunshots and screaming are heard for the 243 mark, until the audio cuts out. He somehow kept this secret. If not for the fact it leaked in 2012, a year after his death, his arrest would have been quick. The CEO's name is still unknown, and the only thing that has been confirmed is his death date, June 3, 2011. He reportedly shot his son in the stomach during a period of drug use and paranoia, and had a brawl with the police. All remaining sets do not work, as all signals have been cut, 